Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign. Freshly out of our fight against the Hunter, one of the Chosen is down. We're left with two more, the Soul Butcher and the Wrath the Demon, um, aka the Warlock and the um, Assassin. So well, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Let's recap where we have left off uh, last time. We are still on our way to sort of uh, either South America or what else can we do? Bomb Squad. Nah, that's not good enough. Technical analysis, that's fantastic. So we were on our way to Africa. And uh, with that, that'll be the next expansion. We needed uh, mm, a bit more context uh, to go there. And I think we also needed more intel. For the time being, we're fine. But we could definitely uh, get a bit more intel. Anyway, so what can we do? We do have uh, uh, twice uh, the scanning time or 50% uh, faster scanning time, which is great. There's a soldier that is up for grabs down, uh, down here. So that definitely would work out well. Other than that, we could gain intel, um, which would further uh, support our cause. Covered action. We got behind enemy lines, which is giving us um, another breakthrough. That's good. And look at that. We even have reduced avatar progress. So that's not too bad. I think overall everything is fine. I'm not sure if I missed anything, Working but well. I know that we wanted to get no the... Having developed a greater understanding well, thank you, Tygen. Uh, we currently don't want, uh, don't want uh, to start devel uh, developing the Shadow Chamber. I'm just double checking if we've missed anything. Apparently the answer is not yet. Um, got 400 supplies. No more upgrades that we can do. I think we're okay. Just double checking all of uh, the uh, different items. Let's go for the soldier. And I also want to go for a tactical analysis because that will keep us in the game longer. It's a very, very strong uh, bonus. But before we can even do that, uh, we are greeted with a Haven Assault. Operation Blinding Star. So let's do that. And let's hopefully win this because it would be quite awkward to lose another area. Let me see who we can get onto this mission. Bond training, wounded, negative trait recovery, not good. Uh, so we're going definitely with uh, Templar and with our Zapper. I would like a... Oh, too bad the Marine is missing. Um, and this Zapper, uh, this Field Medic has a Zapper as a, uh, mm, as a second in command. Well. Anders, we need your help. I want a marine. Assault infantry. And I think a sniper would be good. So Sam is making a return. I'll equip everybody and then we're giving it a go. Good, this is going to be a very difficult mission. So we are going in with good equipment. Uh, Namri takes the frost grenade just in case an alien ruler shows up. I cannot remember if we let anyone escape, but I'm pretty sure uh, one of them is on the, uh, on the roll. So having that as a counter is good. Hogbite goes in with a mind shield uh, in case any of uh, the other uh, chosen shows up. Striker uh, with healing and as much armor as possible. Uh, Pliskin as well. We got the DM, uh, Pliskin and Synapse with uh, blue screen rounds. Want to deal with the harder 
uh, electronic or mechanical units and everybody else has a vest for good measure. So far so good, we are on our way into the mission and this is going to be tough. No other way to put it. Alright, so we landed. Let's take a look. We came in hot and ooh, there is a resistance cell over here. And look at that. An advent carrier ship has been shot down. They even got the nice uh, little corpses down here. Well, that is really well done from a map uh, modding pack. Cool. Anyways, we got some high ground. And only synapse our um, our sniper is in concealment so let's take a look on the other side no peg there yet good how about we're moving slightly forward Hogbite can stand there and we'll just keep Striker in the back. Enders uh, needs to wait for now. Automatic bracing up here, that's good. So let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, resistance operatives are fighting against a mutant pyro. Two missed shots, not the best start. Not the best start. Hmm, listen. Ah, that's difficult. There might be another pack over here. Oftentimes the first zone is quite cramped. Let's carefully advance. Well, so much for that, right? Quintuple pack. Can we hit the guys upstairs without hitting the resistance operative? Once appears to be no. This is dangerous. There might be another pack. I don't want to trigger a second one. Careful here, so I can. Well, that would be a full, quote unquote, full hit. Can't really get the right angle. That's frustrating. Very much so. Um, I like the high ground, but we're having a bit of a problem reaching these guys. But one of the things we could do is just take the other barriers away. We could hit this, which would at least only single out one mutant, get rid of the cover, and we would have a better line of sight, hopefully. Mm, 
Nice hit. Fantastic hit. I like that. Moves over here. Anders carefully moves over. Hits that mutant. Running and gunning. Here I come. Opening the door for us. Alright, there is a viper and a nice little sector. Okay, cool. Let's try to hit the viper. Good shot. Appreciate it. Trying to kill it. I could... I could volt. Which deals extra damage to the sectored. And there is another one back here, so yeah, I might as well do that. Decent damage, not great, but okay. Unfortunate. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the <laughs> Take those bastards. More reinforcements. Advent mech and a couple of codices. Uh, Not good at all. We're moving in. Want to kill the sector. Got a mimic beacon, which I might need to use. That's just a 50-50. Can't do that. Be we'll focus on that flank soon. Sure thing. But for now we need to deal with the mutant. Maybe I'm skipping the mimic beacon. Let's shred the mutant. There we go. I have a distinct lack of shredding in our composition. And we need to deal with the codices. Unfortunately, we're not dealing enough damage to kill them off right off the start. Upon. 
But that has given us all the opening that we needed. Uh, let's get this guy down. So we're looking at what? Eight points of damage. Uh, one short. chance of a kill. I don't want to use the throwing eggs yet. Forty percent chance to stun is not bad. It's not great, but it is actually okay against such a high hit point target of course 50 50 flipped to our disadvantage which means we need to use the teamwork early Kill him. So I'd rather get the focus full, full up, uh, full up and running. Now yeah, we're losing a few more civilians than I wish we would. That psionic bomb wasn't as bad as I would have envisioned it. And they can only use one psionic bomb per turn. The AI is limited in that sense. Unfortunately, we're losing civilians, which is not optimal. Very good. Moves into cover. It's injured, but still going. Unfortunately, the next iteration already starts, which is crazy if you think about it. Reload, and let's take that shot. Thanks for blue screen rounds. That was helpful. All right, moving up. Damn it. Trying to get rid of uh, the Codex. There's still one more left.
44% chance isn't great. What I will say though is what we could do is we can suppress the Archon. It's not the worst option ever. Not great either. That's well, actually okay. This will be a great uh, psionic bomb for the enemy. These two might fight against one another. And I think the suppression wouldn't have been necessary, but... This here will help to save more civilians. Unfortunately, the Guardian uh, killed yet another one. Shot into parry, and the other codex will very likely just sonic bomb. Wow, that's a pretty solid hit. My problem is we haven't even managed to get to here. We're already losing a lot of good men. At least they are hitting the mutants. Not super bad, but Oh, Firestarter Prime, holy. Good, stupid codices. Always cloning. Pretty damn good hit. I like it. Unfortunately, the cloning takes its toll. Yeah, took a lot of action just to get them down. Next turn we're moving Hogbite into the uh, into the next focus and from there 
we're going to summon the ghost. See, that's the problem. They're coming in with massive hordes now. Kill the mutants, please. Yep, that's a good hit. Fantastic hit, actually. Moves over here. Summons a ghost. Regains one focus. But it's almost full again. So that worked well. It's over there. Not a problem. I think we need to speed this here up a bit. No time for this. We're shooting into copper bullshit. Guy falls down. Guy gets sliced into pieces. And we have rescued one civilian. Oh lord. Good, we're charging uh, towards that tower next. Moves up, striker moves up, and we just need to step up our game, get there even faster. Yeah, that's a big problem. Certainly doesn't help if we're not hitting them. Cool, one pyro is down. Good job. Moves up. Potentially triggers. Alright, now is the right moment for a Mimic Beacon. If there ever was one, now is the right one. Hogbite charges up. I'm going. We're taking high ground. charges up as well it's quite a problem to actually get uh, the necessary level of speed that you need in order to not fall behind At 
these enemies are not missing a beat and funnily enough so are we I hate moving uh, and attacking into melee against mutants there is only so much I can do with a ghost oh, damaged our own Good, but we stunned him, Perry. Okay, well, that's good. Decent start. Wait, what? The game slows down. Hmm. Let's uh, let me restart. Okay, we're replay I've replayed the turn bit by bit, but as always, you can't fully replicate it. This time, the damage was higher on uh, that mutant, and he died. On the other hand, this guy didn't uh, receive a stun, but eventually succumbed to his wounds. So yeah, sucks if the game does break down from time to time but yeah crash to desktops are not normal but they can happen good hit i like it can you guys kill the uh, the mutant back there uh well, well maybe not too bad i mean this is a prime uh the prime has the huge advantage that uh, it always gets an action when you are hitting it with the one exception which is um, resistance operatives because uh, that was a problem in earlier versions of a better advent and they essentially took that out i need to move further forward Decent damage. Not a kill yet. But not too bad either. Still trying to figure out a good way to approach it. I hate uh, standing in the open. But having the option to actually kill a mutant supersedes my desire for for solid cover Not a problem. That's how it's done. I need ammo. Very good. Okay, had a short phone call. So. Let us actually start moving in. This is an interesting barrier you can climb over. Uh, civilians should not be impacted by our strike. Of course, we gotta face this one. Oh, 
Okay, I'm seeing a bit of uh, back and forth. And I think given the situation here, I need the ghost in the middle. Nice little stun. And parry. Okay. Damn it. They are still shooting civilians. Uh, that could have been a stun. Oh, that's unfortunately two civilians down. Cool. Face this one gone. Reloaded. Let's try to kill that mutant. Our target, minimal damage. Almost down. Do I will this. make you regret focusing the civilians, my dude. ground up here there's a ladder but I think the fastest way is actually to go all the way the from the back and there is goes a little bit further towards the front line. No, no, no. Okay, none of them are faceless ones. It's good. That's a good start. And Templar Gold uh, stops here, because we don't want to lose it. Bladestorm teaches the Prime not to mess with us. big fat pack of mutants is pulled. Okay, well... Oof. Not a bad idea to go for the fire starter. I like that. Reloaded. Free reload into... Remove and cover. into rapid deployment free action get that fire starter berserker away really big turn from Namri look at the crowd control and cover removal fabulous just in case someone moves to us putting a nice little mine out there I think we're just overwatching soon. She isn't even done with her turn yet. Imagine that. Crazy. Okay, cool. 
Well, a couple of obvious things, right? Gotta get closer. Duh. Secondly, these guys need to die. Duh. Good hit. Like it. Very solid. Are you telling me you can't see a single one with squad side? I gently call bullshit on that one. But gotta accept it. Synapse moves in. Moving over here so that we can flank if needed. Kill the mutant. Wow, what a great hit. Unfortunately, minimum damage. Don't like it. We're moving in. Templar Ghost is going to block this guy. You are effing kidding me, right? Six mutants on a bridge. I'm like out here celebrating. In the meantime, let's deal the maximum amount of damage. Oh cool, we even killed this guy. Solid bladestone hit, I like it. Ridiculous. He had a free unimpeded shot onto the Templar Ghost, but decided to rather go for a rando civilian. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? Good, I think now is a good time for reload. Reload here. Kill. Plus I think we should be rewarded with an extra action, right? Correct. Just trying to maximize the damage, the little damage that we do have. Sniper steps up his game. Okay, I'll go. Striker moves up. Moves up soon, high ground. And 
and this might kill the fire starter. Continue to parry. And I tell you what, I mean, could move in. Three hits, or we're just standing here, trying to be as annoying as possible. Which I think is the right way to go. Unfortunately, we're losing a few more civilians. Ouch. Oh boy. Well, at least he proved to be a decent Mimic Beacon. Actually a really good one. Very nice. Okay, so this is a bit of a doozy. Massive amount of enemies there and we have one life to spare. One single poor soul. So let's start with the obvious. We need to break this stupid overwatch here and also shred him. Minimum damage, but still he's shredded. Um. Whatever you say. All right, jumper down. I like that. Potent hit, very well. Namri moves up. Did we kill him? No, down to two. Oh. All right, moves up into full cover. The DM is going to tank parts of this. Ah, there's another mutant. Okay, but I do have a backup plan. Nice, good shot. Now we need to do this and that. Get the pu uh, pyro. And unfortunately that did not trigger arc wave, but at least we didn't trigger overwatch either. Fabulous. So one down, the other mutant is down, which means four more mutants to go. Five more mutants, I'm just realizing. That's into parry. Okay, good, good, good. All right, we need to kill the Berserker Prime next.
Okay, we could suppress both of these guys. That's a good start. That'll take away the overwatches. Alright, suppression it is. I feel cheated here. Yeah, that should have been a full suppression. All right, bracing. And that could have been a crit. Unfortunately, it was not. Not meant to be. If you say so. Reload. Uh, instead of a crit, we're looking at minimum damage. Well, wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Can't charge in to way too many problems here. So we're maximizing the damage that we're dealing. Finally removing the overwatch. And unfortunately for us, we couldn't really deal a lot of damage to these uh, Firestarter Prime. He instead tries to retaliate on us, okay. We're still in full cover here. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Okay. Ooh. Barely out of range. Okay. Let me think that uh, this through. move all the way to here but we would be very open how much damage four to six hmm not worth it trying to work uh, with what I've got and at the same time not waste too many actions Hmm, how's 
how is this going to work out? A lot of the fight focuses on this side and I think Hogbite is fine, it's just a matter of how do we get the rest. Snake Pliston. Fortunately misses. Let's try that again, Nemri. Misses as well, two fifty fifties. BDM needs to accept that we're losing his action this turn. Adrenaline in rush into free heal. Hogbite moves up. Deals a little bit of extra damage before then resorting back to what he knows best which is melee attack and arc wave uh, hits this guy we are parrying and we're ready we're definitely ready Trying to see if we can sort of get up to this barricade over here for high ground. Entrance would be over here. Hmm, I like the. I actually like. Uh, striker's position here and I think what we're what we're going to do is we're just overwatching pinning them down or they might just ignore us that was the last one that is allowed to die gotta heal him next turn Shoots into parry. Alright, we gotta make sure this guy survives. We better make damn sure that he survives. Not only are we curing, we're also healing him. All right, let's go, boys. That armor's tough. Nemri, Nemri reloads. 
gets this guy down we could overwatch so that if the next infector comes in we are indeed ready Amplified him. Doesn't matter. Make sure this guy dies and we're getting back our focus. turn get a non-movement action after killing an enemy with a turn ending melee yeah well killing is the problem we're not ignoring his armor well enough Definitely parrying. Overwatch here just in case he moves in. I think that might be the solution. High ground into shooting into his ugly face. Oh yeah, baby. That was the play I was looking for. Down to two. One is parryable. The other one... Could be reflected. Synapse does what a good sniper does. As in, punishes the enemy with squad side. I was hoping for a little bit more damage, if I'm entirely honest. Memory begins to move up. I think we're at that point where we really need to move up. Pyro seem to not have retaliation in melee. That guy is dead. And we're slowly but surely pushing them back. Strike overwatches. Good, let's take away the overwatch. And we just barely, and I mean really, barely made it. At this point, I'm not even sure if we made it. Okay, that was close. 
like one more civilian who would have died and the whole thing would have gone completely sideways and just look at the amount of enemies i mean 34 enemies and we haven't been fighting like scrubs we talk about archons codices lots of heavy shield bearers a bunch of mutants berserker primes fire starter primes on top of it wow Cool, well, we got in here from mutant corpses. And let's hope the laboratory is soon going to finish. There is a scientist. It's kind of a no-brainer to take this guy. I think we had a soldier down here, but scientist is more important at the beginning. Dark Tower Noxus is back from negative cut up and tr trade removal. And we got more intel. Fabulous. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I am ready to begin on your orders, Commander. Well. The hunter weapons really don't help us at the moment because we can't use them. As in, they are forbidden in this run. Sonix is forbidden, magnetic weapons is forbidden. Might as well look at the chameleon corpse. Good, one more scientist. That well, speeds up the process. And let's get us a sweet, sweet uh, major or colonel soldier. That'll be helpful. Good. Ghost grenades. They aren't bad. Ghost grenades uh, get everybody back into concealment. I think we're doing Hive Warrior next. I think that gives us another PCS which we could build. And we got a major tech specialist. Nice. So... How do we want to promote him? couple of things right that regenerating standard armor definitely good squad side uh, range I like that but I also like overload but he has 25 points so we can take that extra that one extra ability but pro protocols in squad side range super important Um, common protocol removes shields on target 20% chance to actively shut them down that's not bad but this here isn't bad either acid burning and poison effects are removed I think we're still going with that I would very likely take overload, but we're going to see about that. Armor shredding, very good. We don't have mechanical units. First activation is a free action, I like that. But I also like the idea that uh, we are shredding armor. 30% crit chance against mechanical uh, units, yeah, we need more armor shredding most of the time. Standard shots no longer end the turn, uh, and thus he can shoot twice, which is great. 
Planning protocol now uh, has a chance to panic targets. Chances increased for psionic enemies. Hmm. That's not bad either, but I think I will go with Marauder because that double shot is actually quite helpful. And we're going for overload. Extra base damage plus 200% against mechanical units. Worth the 25 points. So overall a good specialist. Need to give him the right color coding here. And uh, since a few of uh, the viewers asked to be featured in the run, uh, let's see who is lucky. Good. JP Pauly, uh, your character made it. Uh, Major Schizer Doom Jeff. Uh, he even wrote a little character biography, which you can see in the first, uh, uh, in the comment in the first uh, video of uh, this run. Let's also give the character a couple of cool features. I think we want to have some face paint on this one. Oh yeah, some Maori um, face paint. I like that. Wait, wait, wait. We just had... Ma there we go. Uh, I think we need a bandana or something. Yeah, a couple of representative earrings aren't bad. Good. So, I like it. The character is definitely a welcome upgrade to our team. We have another major, so that's good. And he just came in as the highest level, uh, as the highest level tech specialist overall, which is hilarious if you think about it. But yeah, I'm not going to reject a good new soldier. So back to where we have been before. I think before we're going to get intel, let's visit the black market. I can't remember if we had enough intel the last time to actually purchase. Superior Expanded Magazine, yes please. Yeah, and unfortunately we can't get anything super good out of here. We got enough supplies, so that's fine. And nothing else uh, really to do other than waiting for the chosen stronghold to open. But we can start making contact here soon ish. I think the 50% uh, scan time should also mean that we're building faster, right? No, it actually does not mean that. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after that last covert action, but if we give them time to rest, they'll be fine. Our strength against these shows. Okay, so what do we want to do? I like getting the second uh, stronghold. That would uh, be my default. Aim plus four is great for seven days. This here wouldn't be bad either. I mean, you get a promotion and a bond increase. Uh, we didn't want another Templar. Reduce Avatar Project might not be bad. I mean, that's nine days. How many more days do we have left? I will pretty much take the rest. So do we want another, do we want to hunt the chosen or do we want to reduce the avatar progress? I feel the avatar pro project is currently well under control. Getting the chosen down would help us big time. And we just got ourselves a new major with no 
our relationships to anyone yet and we could get one free health I'm wondering who the right person would be I mean obviously my eyes are swaying towards Hawkbite as he's already a colonel right and that would uh, definitely make sense wrong planet with seven hit points could be a good target as well but I think we're going with um, Hawkbite adding a Reaper in for fun so yeah plus plus one health getting the uh, stronghold good enough for me and just as we are done with that we are getting a couple new options here scientists protect the device i don't think <laughs> and surgical oh yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah black market is closed sabotage transmitter that's a bad mission as well i almost do we need an engineer I mean, look, we could, I suppose, utilize one more engineer. Hmm. Hmm. We're definitely purchasing the adaptive programming, which means we now have all of the updates purchased. And what I'm asking myself is, how can we get more breakthroughs? Because the weapon breakthroughs in particular are the ones that are are really missing at this point laboratory can help upgraded laboratory will certainly help I'll be the first to admit I may have yeah but which of those three missions is really going to move the dial I think this is okay the other two are cancerous this here would be nice from a purely from a scientist perspective getting one more but surgical protect the device Ugh. more intel we do have an option to get 180 intel so that's really not the uh, limiting factor at the moment i think this here is the right call but we'll figure that out in the next episode until then try to repair the like button send an engineer over there and make sure that it's all right take care and have a good day Bye bye